Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I put on my false lashes. So before I show you guys how I put them on, I do wanna talk about false lashes a little bit. So the first thing is that obviously with false lashes now, there are the magnetic ones, and then you have your classic glue ones. So for the purpose of this video, we are gonna be focusing on the glue ones instead of the magnetic ones. To be honest with the magnetic ones, I only wear them when I feel kind of lazy, and if I only need to wear them for a short period of time, I don't really rely on magnetic lashes if I have like a very heavy film day or a photo shoot day or if I'm going out with the girls and I want to do well not like I'm going out with the girls anytime soon but if I were to go out with the girls or it's a more active night or something like that I would not be wearing magnetic lashes because those just really fall off still in my opinion pretty easily unless if I'm just not wearing a really good set but I don't know I find that the glue ones are still my go-to if I want want a really heavy duty day or if I'm doing a lot that day and I just need to trust in it. Basically the method that I now apply my lashes have completely changed. So before when I do put on false lashes with the glue type I always just you know stick it on top but ever since Sylvia and if you guys don't know her I will leave a picture of her video on here basically kind of put it in my radar that I've been doing it wrong my whole life and you should not be putting your false lashes on top and I actually always kind of thought that myself because even if you look at my previous videos and stuff, whenever I wore false lashes, I think because of the nature of my eye and I have quite hooded monolid eyes, if you look at this, if I put it on top, the eyeshadow would always imprint the top of my lashes. It would leave this color and sometimes like very white color. So you can kind of see the band. And this happened to me a lot because I have hooded eyelashes, like I said. Basically, ever since I discovered the underneath method, it's honestly changed my life not just because it makes your makeup look so much better so much more natural and it also gives obviously more attention to the top of your eye your eyeliner your eyeshadow everything for me it's a lot more comfortable it lasts even longer and the lifting you know when your lashes lift that doesn't happen as often either on top of that for me like the look of how natural it is is just uncomparable the last thing also I would like to say if you switch to this method the first few questions I get when I talk about this method to my friends is oh my god how do you take it off if you take it off would you not peel off your eyelashes or does it hurt or something like that and actually the first time I did it did hurt only because I was still used to peeling it off like this so I would try to peel it off from the top which is not what you should do but instead what you need to do when you're removing eyelashes from using the bottom method is you need to just kind of lift up your eyelashes and kind of grab it from underneath and take it off it doesn't even hurt it actually Actually hurts way less and you take off way less hair especially if you do it properly anyway all in all I prefer this method a lot more once again you guys can refer to Sylvia's video she also shows you how to put it on underneath with just a full lash the way that I do it though is a little different from her method because I already pre-cut my lashes in half so basically I would be gluing on four lashes instead of just one long piece of lash I actually split my lashes in half I find that when I do that it stays on a lot longer and it's also a lot more bearable to kind of put on and the precision is also a lot better so personally I got that tip from someone on TikTok I honestly cannot remember her name basically I will show you guys exactly what I do exactly what lash I use and exactly how I do this so I feel like that's enough talking I'm just gonna go right ahead and show you Okay, so my go-to eyelashes that really look natural for me are the Ardell Demi Wispies and these are my go-to. I buy them off of Amazon in like a three pack. So it comes in already one, two, three, four, four times three, so 12. These are just the ones that I use all the time. And once again, these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. Okay, so the first thing that you do is you take the lash off of the thing, obviously. I like these ones because it has the clear gel on top. So it looks like this. 
this. This is a little bit more natural for me because like I said, I have monolids. So any type of eyelashes that have kind of like a thread or like a thick band personally does not work for me. So this just is the one that works for me really well. Then I take a pair of small scissors like this. And the first thing I'll do is I will cut the lashes in half. Okay, so after I cut the lashes in half, and I'm just gonna show you one side because obviously it will follow the same process on the other eye. I usually like to start with the inner corner piece. The glue that I use is the red duo glue, and this is what it looks like. And the reason why I use the red one is because the glue actually comes out dark. As you guys can see, it dries black. It doesn't have that white look on it. And what you wanna do is you wanna put the glue on top of the lash because remember, it's going underneath. Do not put it underneath that you're used to. Put it on top because that's where the glue is and you don't need a lot at all so after putting this very little amount you just want the glue to dry a little bit so just kind of like wave it around for a little bit if it's not tacky it's gonna make it slide off okay i'm gonna really zoom in on my eye now so you guys can see Ooh, this is real up close and personal Okay, so then what I do, I will lift up my eye like this and I put it directly right underneath my eyelashes. You don't want it to go on the whites of your waterline. It's easier also if you use like a tweezer or something. All you have to do is lift it up and then you just place it on top like so. Like that. And then make sure you let this dry and just keep it like this for a little bit. So that was really easy. Like honestly, all you have to do is place it there, but obviously this also takes practice. It's a lot faster for me now, but it used to take me a really, really long time. And then when it starts drying, that's just when you wanna make sure that it's actually glued on. Guys, this feels so much better, trust me. Okay, now I'm gonna do, now I'm doing the other eye, same thing, put the glue on top, which I just did. Let it dry for a little bit. Once again, you just want to place it. So go like this and place. And then just let it dry. So try to not blink, but sometimes I can't help it. Sometimes I feel like if I blink, it usually moves. This time I'm lucky and it's not moving. Notice how this is not on the waterline. Perfect. So there you go. This is how it looks like with and without and it's super natural and as you guys can see if i blink down now my lashes just look really really natural okay so i just put on the other eyelash and this is basically what the full look looks like and i know that this look is very very much kind of similar to what my eyes already looked like because i do prefer the more natural look and that's just with the lashes that i always choose i don't like a really really heavy set of eyelashes just for the purpose of being natural also because i've been using the I Envy Serum to grow my lashes. So that's why now my lashes on its own are already pretty long and kind of full. But this is what it looks like with the falsies. And there's honestly so many different ways you guys can do this. And also practice makes perfect. So if you don't get it the first few times, even in the taking off process, it's just really a lot of practice. But trust me, this method is so much worth it. So much more natural looking, longer lasting, no lifting problems. Like I just trust this method to a T now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this this video and if you guys do end up trying it please leave a comment down below and let me know how it goes and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye